Hello and welcome to Reginald ESQ. I'm Underhook and this is Hell Let Loose. The developers decided to give the backers another weekend to uh, play the game. That was the last weekend. And I decided to try out the machine gunning class. As you can see, the weapons are quite loud in this game. So the machine gun is really only useful when you are prone at, with the bipod out. It's not so great to uh, walk around. You can't uh, bring it up to your eye to aim while you're walking around with it. You can only really sort of hip fire and it's not particularly accurate. So what I was doing there, I didn't have a lot to shoot at, but I was really just shooting at the tree line because we knew they were there and there is suppression in the game. So I was really just trying to suppress for my squad mates. The game is kind of balanced because you have a squad, you can have a, a rifleman, an assaultman, you've got to have an officer, uh, you have a medic, uh, all that sort of thing. So you can only have one machine gunner per squad. I decided to move up now to try and uh, keep supporting my squad. Bit of smoke there. Now the smoke appears to currently be not very good. It sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't work. Um, I heard the commentary of the guys a couple of times saying they threw a couple of smokes but only one of them worked and sometimes they don't work at all. So what I'm going to show you here is suppression. So I get suppressed in a second and you can have a look here and see what you think of it. So as you can see that the more shots that land me, near me the darker my screen gets and the more black and white it goes. Also my heartbeat gets really loud and it muffles the other sounds, so it's hard to tell if somebody is close to you or where shots are coming from and stuff like that. So suppression is definitely a thing and it does affect you. I don't know whether it throws your aim off or not, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's why I was shooting at the tree line, was to, to cause that effect on the people up there so that our, uh, our soldiers could uh, more easily get to the front line. Now here we're going to see a little bit of the power of the machine gun when it has the bike on deployed. So we have an enemy there. I think we got him. You will see uh, blood splatters when you get hit. And that guy goes down. There we go. You, you can see there's no like, uh, obviously there's no indicators or anything. We get suppressed and then killed by a machine gun. So once again demonstrating the power of the machine gun. Ultimately, though, I didn't like the machine gunner class. I think there wasn't that many people on the server. I think it was only about 35 or 40 on a team. You can have up to 100 on the team in this game. So I saw someone, just an enemy soldier there, just running over to the left. So I'm on the American team at the moment. And uh, I, I, I couldn't shoot him because you just basically have to be prone and bipod out to be effective with it and so like I just saw a soldier again then but I just didn't have time to shoot at him so now I've got the bike bipod the, the bipod deployed I can provide backup for my guy just up here who's uh, near the logs there but until that point oh he's getting shot he's gone down just waiting to see if uh, uh, there he is Okay, so we managed to get rid of the German that killed him, but he, he did actually kill our teammate. So it's not a it's not a run and gun option with the machine gun. I didn't find it to be anyway. So I kind of played it for a while, but now I've switched. And now I'm still on the American team, but uh, I'm an officer. What happened actually was our officer uh, left the game, and we were without an officer. So I decided to uh, become the officer. And here I am trying to deploy uh, an outpost which allows us to have a forward spawn point. Now you see there was a teammate of mine there just waiting with me. So the teammate actually has, you can't deploy a spawn point on your own as an officer. You have to have one of your squad mates with you. Otherwise I won't let you do it. Which is to stop people getting, you know, just going lone wolf and starting their own squad and then closing the squad off and not letting anybody else join and then, yeah. Now I thought I heard somebody coming from this building so I came in to investigate but I didn't check the left side of the doorway when I came in which turned out to be a fatal mistake and I go back to have a look at the building again and I see a body there although it's American um, looks like this guy got a fair few people but there he is there on the floor German soldiers so somebody got him but yeah 
But there's a lot of shots coming to this room. This is in the middle of a, uh, a capture point, and the enemy's currently... We have captured it, and the enemy's trying to take it back. I start to go up here and see if I can uh, do a little bit of work from up here. Now, I'm playing on the North American server, and my ping is about 395 or something, so uh, I have got a lot of lag, and I find it pretty difficult to uh, win the sort of snapshot confrontation, so I'm trying to just take positions where I'm in an ambush position, really, because it's my best chance to actually hit people. Although that is, the game is a bit like that. If you just run around the open trying to gun people down, you'll get taken out. Usually get taken out pretty quickly. Now I see smoke coming up, so because I saw smoke, I figured someone's probably going to come rushing out from behind the smoke, but... Oh, ah, there's someone. Okay, I think we've got a hit there. I think I saw a blood splatter. Often one shot will kill people, but sometimes they can take a shot and then bandage up. Yeah, they just magically appear I've there. got a teammate so, running up there now. There we oh, we've got another blood splitter. So he's, did we kill him? Two blood splitters. He should be dead. So there's either two people there or um, we were just very unlucky. Uh, they got an MG where our MG Although he may have bled out. Hill. Don't know. So the Thompson's not a bad gun, actually. It's... If you, if you just sort of single fire it, it's fairly accurate, actually. So being an officer in the game gives you a bit more to do, like setting up forward bases, also telling your squad where to attack, so you, you decide if you're going to attack or if you're going to defend your current location, and you can put markers down that the rest of your squad can see. So, I can hear machine gun coming from this direction, which is why I'm facing it. And then, then you can see puffs of smoke. I can't actually see the guy, but I can see the smoke. So I just start shooting. Once I start shooting, I can see him moving. And it looks like we got the kill. So I'm telling my squad mate, I think I got him, but I'm not sure. Well, stop shooting and see if he'll shoot again, because I can't see him. And you can hear his commentary there. Oh, language warning, by the way. I, I, I don't swear, but some of my teammates do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, just watch out for that. Yeah, he's dead, he's dead. Wow, he's molded into the rock. The, his ass, his... His ass is sticking out of the rock. The rest of his body is in the fucking rock. <laughs> so the game is in alpha. So, um, and the only way you can get into the moment is if you were a, well, uh, a backer on Kickstarter. But that will change eventually. So they have these, occasionally have weekends where um, backers can play so they can test out the game. So, it's going. so we see some more smoke up here. So I figure where there's smoke, there's troops. Smoke does look good, I really like the way the smoke's done in this game, but unfortunately at the moment it's not uh, working reliably. Now as far as the graphics go, I have got my graphics settings turned down. Because um, I found it really hard to see people. Now, here's a problem with the game. You can see there I got shot, uh, a guy right next to me in the building with me, but I didn't hear any sound, I didn't hear any footsteps. So I decided to go back to the location and I'm back again and see how much noise it makes. So as you can see, it's quite quiet and there's no like floorboard sounds or any different sounds for this section, which is weird because like they have different sounds yeah, when you're walking through puddles and lots of stuff. It's really well done, the outside sounds, but the interior sounds to me don't appear to be working very well. It's something they need to work on. A few times oh, I got okay. killed by people running yeah, next I, to me, I, I never heard them. Now, I hear sounds outside running past the building, and then I see this guy get shot and go down, so I know this, there's an enemy just here somewhere. Away from to come around the corner, but it doesn't come, so I decide to investigate here. Now, I saw a blood splatter, so I know I hit the guy. I don't know whether I ended up getting killed there or not, or whether he was able to bandage. 
Decided to set up another, uh, our spawn location got destroyed, so I decided to set up a new spawn location for us, a new outpost. But it doesn't work for some reason, and then I realised why, it's because the game is over. Now, we lost really badly there, as the Americans. I don't understand exactly what all these symbols mean. Well, we got 369 and something and 502, and it looks like a fuel can. They got more than a fuel can, but they didn't get anything on the other thing. So this is the team stats here. We did alright as a as a unit. Our squad did fairly well, I think. Good bunch of guys playing with. I, I've always everyone's been pretty good. Although I had eleven kills and twenty one deaths, uh, but I did get killed about six times in a row by a friendly tank. Uh, there was a kick vote. I think it might have been for that guy actually. But yeah, I, I thought it was an enemy tank killing me and I thought how come I can hear the tanks firing so loudly and then I realized there's a tank behind me it was just team killing us for a while so um yeah <laughs> bit of that now you can see there there was a, a yellow marker so I'm now playing the Germans and I'm now playing a medic and it looks like I think the gun I have is a Kark 98 or Kark anyway of some sort bolt action rifle I can see some enemies across the way oh, I do see some anyway Hopefully you can see them on your screen. Pretty much with this rifle, if you hit someone, you'll kill them. Uh, fortunately, when your ping is uh, over 390, <laughs> it's pretty uh, it's pretty hard to get hits on a moving target. So there were a lot of complaints on the forum. Uh, if you watched my last video, I was a medic for most of the game because I sort of enjoy medic and it's kind of good if you've got bad ping too because medicating someone is something you can do with bad ping. And um, a lot of people complained though that the medic only had a pistol. They didn't have anything else. And so a lot of people wouldn't play medic because, uh, you know, it's harder to kill people. So now they've given uh, medics a rifle. You still have the pistol as well. I, I actually prefer the pistol quite substantially. At close range, I really prefer the pistol, or even medium range. I th anyway, so we get in here. We're getting suppressed, but we're going to try and get this guy up anyway. There's shots landing all around us. It, it might be a machine gun. Or it might be an officer firing at us because there's so many bullets landing, but they're missing. He's probably uh, using a Thompson or something like that on full auto. Anyway, we managed to get a couple of guys up here, so we did all right. And even though they're under fire, um, that guy goes down again. But it's worth getting them up because they only have to fire one shot to, to potentially get a kill. So uh, as long as they're on the front line, might as well keep getting them up. So I think I just saw an enemy soldier running around just in there. I decided to make a run for it. I really should have switched the pistol here. And uh, yeah, just make it to the bunker and I'm dead. Sorry if you can hear some background noise. I think my dog's barking outside. So you can see there we've got a forward, uh, that yellow flag is a spawn up there. And there's a red skull near it. That red skull, you only see that when you're a medic. So that's basically saying there's someone there who can be revived. So we're currently losing this point. It'll say losing um, if they've got more troops in the area than you. Uh, we got suppressed a little bit there by a tank shell that landed reasonably close by. If uh, if they've got equal number of troops in the area, it'll say contested. And uh, if you're taking it, it'll say capturing or winning, something like that. My dog is going crazy out there. I hope you can't hear that barking. Anyway. So you can hear my teammates talking. You won't be able to hear me though. So my the capture software captures lose, my teammates uh, talking, but it doesn't capture the enemy talking. So you, the, you've got buttons. You can press a button to just talk to your squad mates. Then you can press a different button for... Oh, 
Is this guy got a flamethrower? Oh no, he's got a machine gun. Well, there's a machine gun at his hip firing. And he's actually doing alright. Ah, oh, we finally get a shot into him. I think we killed him with that shot, but... Uh, I'm blaming uh, lag. <laughs> I'm blaming ping. Anyway, as a medic you have smoke grenades, so I'm throwing out a couple of smoke grenades here to, uh, so I can go out and medicate this guy, get him up on his feet, but I don't want to get shot in the process. So I throw out two smokes there, and you can see that here's the smoke bug. So the first one's already cleared, and the second one didn't work at all. Now I'm not sure whether I got shot there, or whether I just crouched down on top of the barbed wire and the barbed wire killed me. I don't think the barbed wire would have killed me that quick though, so I, maybe I got shot. As you can see there, the smokes just basically did nothing. So that's a bit of a problem they've got to fix. Got another teammate down here. Squad mate. Yeah, there's a machine gunner in the ditch to the northeast. That I do find the medic class quite rewarding. Should I take him out? Except you get killed a lot. <laughs> So I think, I, I don't know if I actually finished saying it before, I, I've got my graphic settings uh, down quite low, pretty much as low as you can get them. Uh, my experience last time I played this was very hard to see the enemy. This map used to be really dark, so this time they've lightened the map up a lot, and it's a lot better. So it was almost like semi-night time, uh, or yeah, late afternoon, early morning, last time that they had this map open. And uh, I found it just too dark, especially with the Germans with the grey uniforms, you couldn't see them. And I noticed that the Germans were winning almost every match. And I'm pretty sure it's because you just couldn't see the grey with the map being so dark. So this time it's much lighter. I've st and I've still got my graphics settings at minimum, but I probably should have given it a go on top settings because with the map being lighter, it probably wouldn't have been as much as a disadvantage as it was previously. So I've come up here because my mate, uh, teammate's going to take care of this tank. So I've come up to support him as a medic. So if he gets taken down, I'll go and revive him because uh, taking out tanks is really important in this game. So you can see the tanks on the road here. It's coming and I can see uh, there's some soldiers there. So I decided to see if I could take the soldier out that's in front because I want our, uh, our anti-tank guy to take it out. So you can only have one anti-tank guy per squad. So I managed to take that guy out, so it was a pretty good shot. I uh, moved back here because I think there's people coming down the hill. And uh, as you can see, there's fire support and attack markers there, so our commander has put those markers there. And uh, there's the dead tank, because our teammate did actually manage to take that tank out. And my teammate actually got taken out there, so and I, I see the guy coming, but unfortunately I, I couldn't get rid of him in time. So I'm trying to take some shots here, get this guy. Like I say, it's very hard to hit uh, moving guys. Now, as you see, I'm actually loading a clip this time. So if you actually empty your gun, then you load use a clip loading system. If you don't empty it, but you just want to load a couple of rounds, it just loads the individual rounds. Quite good animation, that I thought. Oh wow, I'm completely out of ammo. I'm coming, I'm coming. Stand by. So I have found the game to be very enjoyable. I can have done a, they're doing a good job with the game. My main complaints at the moment is obviously the smoke needs to be fixed and the um, sound. The sound needs to be fixed for when people are close to you. You just can't hear their footsteps. Like sometimes you can, like that section before, I heard a guy coming, running around behind a wall. I heard him running outside behind a wall. But then other times, like you'll be prone. And you can't hear people at all. And they're right next to you. And you just get killed by them. So that guy kindly uh, stops moving for me, allowing me to uh, hit him very hard to hit with not so good ping. Um, 
with a rifle like this. And this is where I guess something like uh, the officer's uh, machine guns or submachine guns are kind of handy because you can single fire them still but just get a lot of shots out there so it sort of counters your ping a little bit. So just set there we saw the reload without using a clip and just the individual bullet reload. So I see this guy coming and I sort of fire too late. Tend to um, single fire weapons I tend to yeah want to get a good shot and then yeah anyway. Alright I'm gonna try to actually make it to kind of miss opportunities to the ruin this time. So I'm just trying to see where this guy went. I don't know if maybe my teammate ended up shooting him or, or what happened. The whole rest of our team is at the scar, so hopefully they can hold it for once. So I think I mentioned it before. You can hear my teammates talking, but you can't hear me. Here we go. There, we just saw him there. Oh, come on. Did we get him? He's lying down now. Oh! Yeah, well, there you go. Well, you can't see the gun in his hand, so it's, it is in alpha. The game's in alpha. <laughs> but you can see there, there was no sound. That guy just ran up to me and bang, bang, and we didn't hear him at all. He was right on top of us. So I really would like them to see them do something like that. So here we go. We're... I think we have captured this area, but the enemy's trying to retake it. Oh, that was blood there. So we hit the guy, but then he looked like he ran. Let's run up and see. Let's move in and clear this out. So I'm still a medic. Switch to my pistol because it's much better at close range. Basically because you can fire much more rapidly. And there he is. So we did get him. He just ran a short distance and then went... Out. Oh! I hope that wasn't my teammate firing that tank or that anti-tank gun again that would kill us about 10 times in the last match. Well, about six times. Not sure if that was the enemy or teammate that killed me then. So here we are, we're attacking uphill. Attacking uphill is hard. Oh, actually, we're defending uphill. It says defend up there, but the enemy's all over it. So we're rushing back to try and uh, hang on to this point. Our commander's put a defend marker on it. So I'm running up there. You can see there it says losing. We're losing this point. Uh, I can see a couple of uh, people have gone down. They're not in my squad, but uh, Hippocratic Oath and all that. So I use, uh, I think it's the V, Keith, a local chat just to say, look, uh, I'm a medic, I'm here, I'm going to get you up. Thank you, sir. Get us in, like, this ditch over here. And I'm doing that because, of course, I don't want them to press the F key and uh, go to respawn. So I just... Yeah, let them know that I'm a medic, I'm here, I'm going to get you up so that they don't uh, tap out. It is really satisfying, I think, being the medic and um, getting people up on the front line. It can make a, a huge difference sometimes for your team. Uh, not many people play medic, and that's one of the reasons, too, why I communicate to them. You can now, one of the improvements I've made to the game is now when you are you get knocked out, there is uh, a little marker that tells you if there's a medic in the area and how far away they are. And you can see if they're Head moving down. towards you or away because the, the distance changes. So someone lets some smoke out. The smoke's actually working on this occasion. So I figure, well, that's good. I've got cover and I can see there's dead bodies around me. So I'm trying to decide to pick one and move towards them. But I get shot at quite close range. So... The enemy must have overrun us there somehow. Took down one enemy so you can see we're actually capturing this point. And a tank shell kills my comrade. I was going to heal him, but I realised I've been injured too. So I get a bandage, you have to start bandaging myself. And then I figure I'll try and get him up after I've bandaged myself. But a second uh, shell, I assume it's a high explosive shell from the tank, uh, takes us out. And we've nearly captured this area now. So the game is a lot of fun and it seems to be progressing well. I don't know how many players we're going to end up with. There is an Australian server, uh, which would have been great for but there wasn't really anybody on it. Most people were playing on the uh, US, one of the US servers and one of the European servers. 
So uh, and we and the server wasn't full. So not a lot of people playing it. I mean, it is backer only at the moment. And they only open it up, you know, a weekend every now and then. So you do have to sort of re-download it and do all that sort of stuff. So, so we're winning this well and truly this match. And there's only one sector left for the U.S. But while they're on their back feet from us, we've captured this point now. It's time to move up. My teammates telling us to move up, and one of my teammates just goes down there. Be careful. Moving up through the woods as well. And as I say, the teammates I've played with were really good people, really nice people. I, I haven't come across one toxic person. The only thing was I got killed, like I say, I got killed by the same tank about six times. I don't know whether that was a toxic person or just somebody who just didn't know what they are doing and <laughs> didn't know who they were shooting. But um, everyone's been really nice. No one's been a smarty or anything like that. Everyone's been great. That'll probably change once it's open up and open up to the general public. <laughs> At the moment it's only backers and people who back games like, like this tend to be um, people who are keen on the game, serious on the game and uh, yeah, just helpful people. Anyway, so uh, there you go. Until I have another open weekend, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, subscribe to Reginald ESQ and have fun.